here with Najee Good. Uh, Najee, looking at the defense coming into the season, what are some of the expectations you're looking for out of the black hole defense? Uh, one thing we pride ourselves on is swarming to the ball and just playing physical all day. It's playing with a lot of energy, so that's what we pride ourselves off from the from the jump, and just we want to carry that on to all the younger guys, just knowing that that's that's what it's going to take to be uh, victorious in this league. Good. We saw him against UConn. He's a big playmaker. Yeah, Najee's a really explosive playmaker. Does a great job blitzing. But then again, he's, he's just as good in coverage. Great at covering guys. Technical, fast. I know he's got a real high on him. Take a look at it here. No, I thought, see, I mean, it seemed like they were trying to set something up to come back on the side of the blitz, and Sheriff's just got croaked. No one around Najee good for the score. Well, you mentioned the two years. The play is a touchdown. Dead ball foul. Sideline interference. Return team on the sideline. A 15-yard penalty will be enforced. Will be enforced on the. Well, Sheriffs was trying to carry out that fake. He actually did a pretty good job trying to. But Good just made a big, big defensive play. Yeah, and I, I thought it was originally to the tight. Yep. Nice catch. Pulling it right side, complete to Caskin, heading north. Nice catch. Andrew catches it, gets popped pretty good right on the. And they are pointing in the way of Maine. He steps up, fires near, catch made, but tackle on Leotine. Oh, they. I don't know what to say, really. Three minutes to the biggest battle of our professional lives. All comes down to today. Either we heal as a team, or we're going to crumble. Inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light we can climb out of hell one inch at a time now i can't do it for you i'm too old i look around i see these young faces and i think i mean i made every wrong choice a middle-aged man can make i uh I pissed away all my money, believe it or not. I chased off anyone who's ever loved me. And lately, I can't even stand the face I see in a mirror. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of life. But you only learn that when you start losing stuff, Damn you, right short. you find out life's as game of inches. So is football. Because in either game, life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. On this team, we fight for that itch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. We claw with our fingernails for that itch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that itch. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face 
Now, I can't make you do it. You gotta look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now, I think you're gonna see a guy who will go that inch with you. You're gonna see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the same for him. That's the team, gentlemen. And either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals. Going on the play. Again, as you take a look right here, they do a great job of picking up pressure. He has a great pocket. You might see him step over the throw. It goes through his hands. And, and... Now, what are you going to do? that we have to do uh, as we're pursuing our dreams and our goals is that we have to know that failure is not an option. You know, I, and you got to hear this one. This, was an, this one is important uh, because you've got to tell yourself, despite, again, the circumstances, the situations, you have to tell yourself that, listen to me, I'm not going anywhere until I get the goal. Like, until I make my dreams become a reality, I'm not quitting. I don't care how much money I have to invest. I don't care how much time I have to invest. I'm going to continue to do this until I become successful. What do you need to know that you don't know right now? What information, what books do you need to read? What, what mentors do you need? What circles do you need to have? Some of you are not where you want to be. You don't have what you want to have. You're not doing what you want to do because you've never been exposed to it before. And that's how my life changed. I started hanging around millionaires. And I started hanging around successful business owners. And I started hanging around success. Good job finishing for the breakup for number if one. If you decide in any particular area that you're concerned about to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to read one book a month in that area, in five years you'll be among the top 5% experts in the world. Four wideouts for sheriffs. Some of y'all want a promotion, right? Listen to me. You want a promotion, but listen to me close. I'm going to tell you what you got to do. So if you give me increased performance, hear me. Increased performance is going to increase your pay. I don't know if it's basketball, if it's soccer. I mean, I don't know what it is. If it's sales, I'm not sure what you're doing. Law, I, I don't know. If you're education, I don't know what you're doing. But if you teach and you're the same teacher this year than you were last year, that's a problem. And so I need increased performance because once you increase your performance, everything else increases. Whatever your dream is, whatever your goal is, you're not going to be able to make it happen if you don't have a dream party every day. Like, you've got to have a dream session. You've got to take out 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, however much time you have, and you've got to actually go in a room, close the door, and you've got to see yourself doing it. You've got to feel yourself doing it. You've got to actually walk in it. You've got to go in the future, live it out, come back in the present, and start working toward it. Before we can do the impossible, you got to do the impossible. That's right, I'm going to say it again. Before you can do the impossible, you got to do the possible. And when you look the word up, possible, what does it mean? 